e-activity cascade style. So we'll open up an e-activity and uh, just notice a few things when we start. First off at the moment the curse is kind of like a stick and it's flashing away and up underneath action we've got A with a kind of pencil. We're in text mode. If we tap this uh, once then the cursor changes and it's just like we're in the main application and we're ready to do some calculations and so on. If I did 7 multiplied by 8 press execute it evaluates it and we've got the full range of math functions available to us if I'd been on this line and only pressed the text as soon as I pressed execute then you notice nothing happens here um, but we've got a calculation line waiting down here for us and we could tap onto underneath action the uh, and toggle it back to being a text line now right let's start again file new okay so we've got to pay a particular importance to whether we want to write text on the surface of our e-activity or whether we want a calculation. Now we're going to start off with some little text to explain what's going on and uh, we could get the keyboard up and the ABC tab and type through here. I'm just going to use my computer keyboard to start with edit side lengths um, as our first instruction and tap execute. Now this is where I want to do a bit of math. We want to input the three side lengths that we're going to use. So I'll convert it into a math entry and we'll head back and I'm going to math three. A little shortcut is to use this um, chap here and we want to put three numbers into here and then store them into three variables into this second box. So here we go, the numbers. Let's uh, use three comma four comma five. Uh, and we'll store these into the variables heading off to the variable tab here a comma b comma c so this is a great way to very quickly uh, change the three sides of our triangles later on now as soon as I tap execute because we're on a calculation line classpad has now stored the variables um, uh, a b and c with the values of 3 4 and 5 now here we go with Heron's formula there are two steps to it so that's why we can't really set up a single formula first we want to calculate the semi perimeter so we'll head off uh, well maybe let's do this nicely so we'll convert back to a text line and let the user know what's going on on this line and that is that we're now going to calculate the semi perimeter and I'll just use my uh, computer keyboard here perimeter comma s uh, on the next line. I'll tap execute to put the cursor on a new line and convert back to math. We'll head back up to the math keyboard here, get the fraction template back to the variables tab and upstairs we want to add up A and B and C and then divide them by 2 and store this result. So we head back to math 1 and here it is the store command into the variable S. Uh, and tap execute and so again we get a result because we're on a math line we'll turn it back now into a text line and we're going to say this is going to be the area so I'll type this one in here and press execute and turn it back into a math strip so we're ready to calculate the area we head back up to math one we want the square root of variable s for the semi perimeter and notice uh, there's a set of brackets down here if you're on the latest operating system. Um, we'll put in three sets of brackets and then I'm going to tap back in in between each one. Uh, S minus A in the first bracket, S minus B in the second bracket, and in the third bracket S minus C. So that we've, um, this is basically Heron's formula that we've got over here. Now when I press execute, we've got a result of six so we've done all the hard work all we want to do now is save a copy of our reactivity so I'll get rid of the keyboard um, file save and um, we're in the root directory at the moment we need to maybe go into a folder here and here's a let's call it heron now I've already got a copy of this but I'll tap save it's warning me overwrite yep I'm happy with that so we've saved a copy now for future use, all we need to do is come back into our e-activity, open up our Heron um, e-activity and change the numbers. So let's try it with some different values. What about 6, 8 and 13? 
here we go so I've selected them and as soon as I start hitting keys here they overwrite 6 comma 8 comma 13 and when I tap execute instant uh, updating up that's the cascading part of it we make a change up here and then the semi perimeter is recalculated and so is the area if you want to go a little bit slower we can use um, this little option here which just means recalculate one line at a time and then we can come to here and just do that line and onto this formula and do that line and class pad updates as we go along there um, and you basically can set any three values you want in here so long as they're suitable lengths of a triangle and always calculate the area from the three sides.